What's up, Scup Legion? And in today's video, we will discuss why your products aren't selling and how we find products that generate six figures. Now, let's take a look at our store's dashboard really quick. I wanna show you a couple of these products. This is the past year in sales. As you can see, we've done 2.9 million over the past year. And I wanna show you that we have three products here. These three products alone have done six figures in sales. 300,000 from one product, 166,000 from another, and 138,000 thousand from another product. So in this video, I want to cover with you why these products are different. How come these products hit six figures while most products fail to sell at all? So let's get into the training. By the way, give me a comment below and we are going to be choosing one person and giving away our new print on demand course. So just comment, pick me below to enter to win. So that being said, in print on demand, there's usually three different ways that people do product research, right? They have Amazon, they have Etsy, and then we have my favorite, Google. And I've already got some stuff pulled up here. I was doing a little bit of prep for the video. But in this video, let us do funny dog t-shirt for men on Amazon. Uh, actually, let's do women. Women will be easier. So funny dog t-shirt for women on Amazon, on Etsy, and on Google. Okay, these are how most people know how to do product research. They go to these websites and they look for social proof. Social proof comes in two different forms, right? You have sales proof and then you have review proof. And the general rule of thumb for a review is you can take however many reviews a product has, multiply it by 20, and that's a loose idea of how many sales that product has done. So here we can look and we'll probably see some designs that have sold. Okay, so we scroll down here, we can see like this has 700 reviews. It's a dog t-shirt, right? 50 bought in the past month here. We have 45 reviews, life goal, pet, all the dogs. We have 1,500 reviews, 1,000 reviews right here. Okay, so tell your dog I said hi, and then I like dogs, maybe three people. So people see these reviews, right? They're like a thousand, I times that by 20. Wow, that's 20,000 sales. This is a great product to sell. And while the message may be good, just because it has that many reviews doesn't mean it will work well advertising on Facebook. And we'll explain that at the end of this video, okay? First, you know what to do. This video is sponsored by mm, Scup Nation, Scup Gang, we sip Kratom. Now, let's go over here to Etsy and let's look at products again, okay? And we wanna look at reviews. Well, that's not even a dog shirt, that's a chicken t-shirt. <laughs> oh, it's an ad, that's why. Okay, so we'll skip the ads. So 50,000 reviews on this one. We have 1.5,000 and 1.7,000. 000. Now, what we wanna look for is reviews for this item. There's two different kinds of reviews, right? You have reviews for the shop and reviews for this item. So 229 reviews here, 20 reviews here, and then uh, 10 reviews here. So right here, easily distracted by dogs, this looks like a good shirt, right? It's got 200 reviews, 200 times 20 is what? Like 4,000, so sold 4,000 units. Boom, these are massive. And, and here's the thing is we sell on Facebook ads, right? Like if you wanna get sales like this, um, where you're doing six figures on a single product, you're probably gonna need to run Facebook ads to do it. Or you have to get really good with Etsy, tick, or sorry, TikTok ads or something like that. But we do Facebook. And if you try to take this design that sold 4,000 units and try to sell it on Facebook, it probably won't work. And this is what people are doing. And this is why people are struggling so much to sell their products. Because you have to understand something. When you're on Etsy, you are in a shopping mode. You are there because you're looking for something specific, right? When you are on Amazon, you are there because you are in a shopping mode. You are looking for something specific, right? Makes sense. Now, when people are on Facebook, they are not in a shopping mode. They're like, oh, I'm gonna see what Susie's up to. Oh, Susie's such a, I can't believe she posted that photo with my ex-husband. That's what people are doing on Facebook, okay? They're being social, but they're not shopping. So products that work on a website that's built for shopping aren't guaranteed to work on a website where people are just, you know, messing around, like getting jealous and angry at what other people are posting on social media and it's making them hate their life or whatever, right? And this is where Google comes into play because we have this sponsored section at the top. And while we're not looking for products to sell here, what we do want to do is use this type of research to look for stores within our niche, right? So in this example, the dog niche. So we have True Pup Love Co. Let's take a look at this. And the reason we want to do this is because usually brands that are running ads on Google are also running ads on Facebook. And so we click down here, we go, you guys can't see this, but let me see if I can move my camera real quick. 
So at the very bottom here, there's a Facebook icon, right? We go to stores and we click on their Facebook icon. We come here, we click on the about tab. We're gonna make my camera smaller here. Now I'm a little Devin. Okay, we go to their about tab, we go to page transparency and we can see that this page is currently running ads. Now, this is important because we don't want to look for products that have sales proof, but don't have any advertising proof. We want to see ad proof behind it. And you might be thinking, well, Devin, like, does that mean I can't sell these products? No, it doesn't mean that, but you do have to do a specific kind of change to these products to make it work on Facebook, which I will explain to you. But let's go here, see all, we can go to their ad library and we can see what ads they're running. So these people are only running seven ads. The oldest one is from July 16th. So these guys probably aren't like super killing it on Facebook right now, but let's keep looking. We have Poshinet. We know that they're a good store. Personal Fury, I've never heard of that one. We rate dogs. So we can look at this, Personal Fury. This is a, looks like a dog store. We scroll down, we click on their Facebook link. Looks like their Facebook page doesn't exist. Try this one, scroll down, go to their Facebook link. We rate dogs. We go to about the page, page transparency. This page is currently running ads, we can see. We go to their ad library. I know I'm going quick, but I'm here to train you. Okay, so these guys, again, not really running. They're, they're selling these stickers, but not really selling any t-shirts. So what we can do is we can go to Poshinet. We can go to like one of these bigger brands. Scroll all the way down, go to their Facebook page. Stick with me, guys. This is all really important. Page transparency. We can see they're, they're running ads. We go to their ad library. Cool. And now what we can do is we can see that these guys are running 200 ads and some of them they've probably been running for quite a while. So if we scroll down far enough, let's go to set, let's go look for ads they launched over the summer. Now my internet's going slow. Okay, so here we have some ads that they launched in July, right? And this is just gonna be our example right here. So Poshinet, Dog Mom, uh, they sell a lot of customizable products and stuff like that. So something to keep in mind here, guys, here's what your product needs to do. So the reason this won't work and the reason this won't work and the reason this won't work on ads, even though this has done over 20,000 sales, this has done over 20,000 sales, this has done uh, like 4,000 sales, right? The reason these won't work with Facebook ads and the reason you won't get numbers like this from one of these products, right, is very simple. It is because they do not have a pattern interrupt. That is what you need to be looking for. Let me show, I'll write this down for you. Pattern interrupt is what your product designs need to do. When you're running Facebook ads, the only thing that matters is the product. People get pretty caught up in like what to say in your ads and, and stuff like this and like your store design and all that. And those things can help, right? Those things can give you a little boost. All right, mm -hmm. a little boost. Mm -hmm. But they're not gonna make you sales really. It all starts with the product above anything else. And people have seen these products before. People are familiar with them. And a lot of the times these products are bought as gifts. They're not actually bought by the person you're selling it to. So what you need to do is you need to add to this design in a way that adds some sort of shock value, production level. Improve the design in a way that makes people say, oh dude, this is sick, this is new, this is cool. What does that require? It requires a little bit of thought. It requires a little bit of creativity, okay? But if you sit down for 20 or 30 minutes, right? You could figure out a way to do this. So an example, I just came up with a, a silly idea right off the bat for this easily distracted by dogs thing, which is that man looking back meme, right? So like this meme, what if you could make a version of this that said man or easily distracted by dogs and it was this meme and it was a guy like ignoring his girlfriend or something looking back at a dog. So it's just a random idea. I didn't think very hard about that, but that is how you can take a design like this that can make a lot of money and adapt it, okay? So the big message here, guys, I want you to understand this. If your products have social proof but aren't selling, here's why. You're ignoring the modality. And by the way, let's get a definition of modality for you guys. A particular mode in which something exists, is experienced or expressed. And this is important. You need to understand this if you wanna be successful. So a particular mode in which something exists or is expressed or experienced, which means that people, when they see products here, 
versus here versus here on Facebook, they're in a different modality. They're in a different mood. They're looking to accomplish different things. So a product that works well when someone is literally searching for it versus someone who's just browsing Facebook needs to be presented in a different way. It's fine to not like blow someone's mind or have a pattern interrupt or have something that snaps them out and gr like grabs their attention here on Amazon because these people know what they're shopping for. They know what they want. Here, we are presenting a design that is so unique, so cool, so new, and it connects to how they feel so deeply, or it makes them laugh, or it's something that they say, this is fun, I wanna have this shirt so I can wear it and show my friend group. That's what you need to accomplish, okay? And that's what we've done here, and that's why we have designs that have generated $300,000 from a single design in the past year. That is the secret. Most people are ignoring the modality. They think an Etsy design transfers easily and instantly to Facebook. Rather, you need to take the Etsy design and adapt it with, let's just say, pizzazz. Uh, I don't know how to spell that. Pissass. Pissass. No, pizzazz. Pizzazz. You need to spice it up, okay? Spice. Put some riz on it, okay? As the kids say. Uh, I don't know what the kids say. I hate kids. <laughs> but you need to make the product exciting. Then it will work on Facebook. That is how you make millions in profit. It's that simple. And I know it sounds like, oh, Devin, that's easier said than done. This is what you're paid for to solve this problem. If you can do this, if you can put in a little bit of effort, okay? You can make a lot of money. And the good news is there's tools like ChatGPT to help you. All right, don't forget to comment below if you are interested in getting our new course. It's $2,000, you can get it for free. I will pick one person. Just comment, pick me or comment, Daddy Devin. Also, I'm going to release another video here soon about product research and the like five to six items that make a good to sell product. Okay. We covered right here why your products aren't selling. It's because you're doing the modality wrong. Next video, we're going to be showing you what makes a good product. And if you cover the five to six bases or four, I don't know how many it's going to be. I'm going to have to sit down and write it out. Then you can pick good products every time. Okay. Comment below to enter to win a course. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.